Steve Jobs was thrown out of his company in the early years. I, as an entrepreneur, can resonate with the humiliation and pain that he must have felt. But he took that negative experience and turned it into positive conviction when he came back into Apple and took it to a new, different level. Oprah Winfrey was sexually abused when she was nine years old. I cannot even imagine the horror, the pain, and the damage that might have caused. But she took that negative experience and turned it into positive conviction and became the richest black woman the world has known. Closer home, Mahatma Gandhi was thrown out of the first class compartment in South Africa by the white people. And he felt humiliated. He turned that negative experience into positive conviction when he came back to India and fought the rest of his life against discrimination and brought us freedom. <clears throat> negative emotion. We all feel it almost on a daily basis. There are some small events, there are small happenings in our life which make us feel negative. And yes, there are some life-changing, depressing, disturbing moments that make us feel down in the dumps. Is there a way to make something that's pulling us down to propel us up? Is there a way to make something that makes us dismay, disoriented, depressed, to make us more determined? Is there a way to turn negative emotions into positive conviction? In my short life, I've had a few life-changing negative emotions and experiences. And I'd like to share three such anecdotal instances with you. The first one. 1998, I was a 13-year-old boy, and my mother was suffering from cancer. And I still remember the March of 3rd, 1998 morning, 6 a.m., like it was yesterday. I was sitting beside her, and I was there at that very moment that she took her last breath. At that moment, I felt rage. I felt anger. I felt sadness, of course. I felt so many things. A few days later, my relatives were home, obviously, and they asked the very frequently asked question to kids, what will you become when you grow up? Will you become a doctor or an engineer? And I looked at her dead in the eye, and I said, I'll be an entrepreneur. There's a reason for that. While my mother was ill, my father was being transferred to different places, and he couldn't be with her when he, she was unwell, she was ill. And that reason and the emotion of losing my mother, that was the first time I ever told anyone that I wanted to be a businessman, an entrepreneur. And here I am. The second instance is more on the professional front the agency that I founded. For two and a half years, I ran into one of the worst economical crises, financial crises the world had seen, the Lehman Brothers. And India was affected too. And I was out of cash. And I had to lay off 15 people who had worked with me for almost two years. It was one of the toughest professional moments of my life at the age of 23. I did not give up. I took that negative emotion and I'm made a pact with myself that I will build this again. I was down to just myself, a solo entrepreneur then. And here I am, we are 350 people strong. This is the most recent, probably the most raw negative experience that I've had. After four years of being married, my marriage fell apart. I was heading towards a divorce. And I got divorced. It's probably the most heart-wrenching disturbing experience personally that anybody can have. And that's how I looked then. I took that negative emotion and a lot of it and said that I'm going to bring my life together personally. I worked on myself both mentally and physically to make myself feel good about myself and stand on my two feet. Pain and pleasure are the drivers of motivation. 
And over these three instances, I realized when I reflected on my life that I had taken the pain that life gave me and turned it into positive conviction. What is positive conviction? Before we delve into that question, let's understand what conviction really is. Conviction is a firmly held belief or opinion. This is how Wikipedia describes it. I did a bit of research, and according to a 1917 research paper by Joseph Jastrow, conviction is the rivalry between reason and emotion, right? But when reason and emotion come together, your conviction is the strongest. At 13, I had a reason to be an entrepreneur and a very strong emotion, right? To be an entrepreneur, came together. Now, positive conviction is the ability to do something good, not just for yourself, but eventually for society and the world at large. Now, conviction, emotion, all of these, and reason, are all coming from our brain. So let's try and delve deeper into what our brain really craves, what makes human being tick. You'd be surprised to know that 76% of the human brain craves certainty, which is the neocortex. You can store two million data points just to make sure that you can predict the future. Our ancestors were rewarded for certainty. When they found food, they not only had a full stomach, but they also had increased dopamine levels in their brain. This is why we like repeatable music, we like puzzles because once we solve them, they are predictable. This is why you feel happy when you know you're going to get that appraisal and you are told that in advance. So certainty makes us comfortable. Our brain craves certainty. That's how we are geared. And guess what? We are moving into a world that's becoming uncertain by the minute. Factor these stats. In the 19th century, UK took 150 years to double its GDP per capita. US in 20th century has taken 50 years, and India and China are going to take only 15 years to do so. According to a Bloomberg article in 2017, the rate of accelerated change is faster than ever before in the next decade, than it's ever been. So uncertainty is a certainty. Wow. Let's think about that for a moment. Our brains crave certainty, but our world is getting more and more uncertain. How do we bridge this? The answer is positive conviction. Your brain not only craves certainty, it also finds uncertainty as a threat. And this is a scientific fact. When you're faced with uncertainty, your brain releases a stress hormone called cortisol, which actually increases depression, it actually increases your blood pressure, and in turn, it makes you unhappy. Think if you're uncertain about your future. When have you been uncertain in the past? Very uncertain. You've literally been paralyzed. And that's what uncertainty does to us as human beings. But leaders that have strong conviction who are going towards a path actually put people at comfort because we mirror the neurons of those whom we seek guidance from. So followers who have strong leaders with strong convictions feel comfortable about their future by just replicating the state of emotional mind that their leaders are in. It actually transcends from one to another. And that is why positive conviction is so important in this uncertain, changing world. So how can one turn negative emotions into positive conviction? How can one do that? Let's do a small exercise here. All of you, close your eyes right now. Now think about the one thing in your life 
that hurt you terribly. Think about the one thing that made you feel utterly helpless. Think about one thing that made you humiliated like never before. What do you feel? Do you feel rage, anger, sadness, an emotion? If you feel extreme rage and anger, then you're thinking about the right things. Now open your eyes. Now, close your eyes again. This time, think about that one thing that you aspire for. One thing that you want to achieve. It could be anything. It could be a good physique. It could be that next job. It could be being the businessman that you want to be. That one ambition, that burning ambition you always have had. You see that drive inside you? Now open your eyes. If you consciously take the energy that you felt when you thought about those negative feelings, and those negative feelings are there, and you direct them towards achieving your goals, it's possible to convert negative emotions and experiences to positive conviction. And in this ever-changing world with uncertainty, where more of us are going to have negative emotions, experiences, instances, the ability to take that, to absorb it, and to make it into a positive outcome and a positive conviction is going to be very, very important. It's going to be important for individuals, it's going to be important for organizations, it's going to be important for leaders. In this uncertain, ever-changing world, it's going to be very important for you to turn the negative into positive. Thank you. <laughs>